Residents of Iyangasan community in Calabar South local government area of Cross River State have suffered lack of quality health care services as well as good road network to access the urban cities, especially to meet their health care needs. We will use this platform to beg him to come to our aid on the road network because our road network is very, very bad and some, uh, some properties and lives have been lost. This is a great, it's a great achievement for Iyangasan people. It's a great achievement for this local government area too because it's going to help the, especially the midwives, the women and other children as well. As a way of reducing the rate of infant and maternal mortality, Governor Basi O2 has flagged up the Sweet Prince Palliative Healthcare Program to provide free medical services to pregnant women, children and the aged across Nyasan community. We have uh, a warehouse here for drugs that goes out to about six states. And then we have other stores which uh, is going to operate in terms of uh, supplying uh, the medicals to uh, our people all over the state. The program will include various upgrades and enhancements to healthcare facilities. I will go around, we have selected some sites, particular sites that are rural, sites that are accessible to everyone, and sites that can be upgraded to provide the basic infrastructure, human resources, and general service, I mean, services. Everything about the palliative letter is completely free and is targeted at the vulnerable groups and the less privileged. Who are these vulnerable groups? They are the pregnant women, the elderly, and the under five. Residents commend the governor for giving back to society. The day I came here, I saw the new Vahasa, so our honorable governor, our street princess, is working on this place. So may God Almighty continue to bless and keep it for us. See how he has transformed the place. You can imagine the, the peace suddenly that have taken over our state. It's so wonderful. We, we really appreciate him for what he's doing. He should. Governor Otu also commissioned the state essential drug warehouse, which was vandalized by the 2019 NSAS protest. <laughs>